I think of a South American or Chilean activist who I interview in the book named Juan Pablo Orrego. And he makes the case that I think is worth repeating that in order to inspire people to do these kinds of things, to take on this incredibly difficult work, we have to return to an appreciation of the aesthetic beauty of the natural world. We have to look to the kind of incredible reverence that somebody like John Muir had for a place like Yosemite and kind of mourn with John Muir the loss of Yosemite's twin, which was Hetch Hetchy Valley buried behind O'Shaughnessy Dam. Glen Canyon, the namesake of that dam on the Colorado, as uh, I write in the book, one of the most beautiful places perhaps on the entire continent, and it was buried hastily behind a dam in the early 60s. In order to foster the belief that we can return to some semblance of wholeness, we have to start with the premise that a beautiful thing is worth saving.